Jason 3 is a satellite created by a partnership of the European Organization for the Exploration of Meteorological Satellites e -E and National Aeronautic and Space Administration NASA, and is an international cooperative mission in which NOAA is partnering with the Centre National d'Etudes Spatiales CNES, France's governmental space agency. The satellite's mission is to supply data for scientific, commercial, and practical applications to sea level rise, sea surface temperature, ocean temperature circulation, and climate change. Topic. Mission objectives JASON-3 will make precise measurements related to global sea surface height. This data is important to collect and analyze because it is a critical factor in understanding Earth's changing climate. Topic. Scientific applications The primary users of JASON-3 data are people who are dependent on marine and weather forecasts for public safety, commerce and environmental purposes. Other users include scientists and people who are concerned with global warming and its relation to the ocean. NOAA and EUMESTAT are using the data primarily for monitoring wind and waves on the high seas, hurricane intensity, ocean surface currents, El Niño forecasts, water levels of lakes and rivers. NASA and CNES are more interested in the research aspect, in terms of understanding and planning for climate change. Ultimately, the benefits of JSON-3 data will transfer to people and to the economy. Topic. Orbit JSON-3 flies at the same 9.9-day repeat track orbit and this means the satellite will make observations over the same ocean point every 9.9 days. The orbital parameters are, 66.05, inclination, 1380 km apogee, 1328 km perigee, 112 minutes per revolution around Earth. It is flying one minute behind Jason 2. The one minute time delay is applied in order to not miss any data collection between missions. Topic. Orbit determination instruments In order to detect sea level change, we need to know the orbit height of the satellites as they revolve around Earth, to within 1 cm Combining instruments from three different techniques. GPS, DORIS, LRA. The GPS receiver on JASON-3 uses data from the constellation of GPS satellites in orbit to constantly determine its position in orbit. Topic. Launch Appearing on the SpaceX manifest as early as July 2013, JASON-3 was originally scheduled for launch on July 22, 2015. However, this date was pushed back to August 19 following the discovery of contamination in one of the satellite's thrusters, requiring the thruster to be replaced and further inspected. The launch was further delayed by several months due to the loss of a Falcon 9 rocket with the CRS-7 mission on June 28, after SpaceX conducted their return to flight mission in December 2015 with the upgraded Falcon 9 full thrust, Jason-3 was assigned to the final previous generation Falcon 9 V1.1 rocket, although some parts of the rocket body had been reworked following the findings of the failure investigation, a seven-second static fire test of the rocket was completed on January 11, 2016. The launch readiness review was signed off by all parties on January 15, 2016, and the launch proceeded successfully on January 17, 2016, at 1842 Coordinated Universal Time. The JASON-3 payload was deployed into its target orbit at 830 miles 1336 kilometers altitude after an orbital insertion burn about 56 minutes into the flight. 
It was the 21st Falcon 9 flight overall and the second into a high inclination orbit from Vandenberg Air Force Base Space Launch Complex 4E in California. Topic: Post-mission landing test. Following paperwork filed with U.S. regulatory authorities in 2015, SpaceX confirmed in January 2016 that they would attempt a controlled descent flight test and vertical landing of the rocket's first stage on their West Coast floating platform Just Read the Instructions, located about 200 miles 320 kilometers out in the Pacific Ocean. This attempt followed the first successful landing and booster recovery on the previous launch in December 2015. The controlled descent through the atmosphere and landing attempt for each booster is an arrangement that is not used on other orbital launch vehicles. Approximately nine minutes into the flight, the live video feed from the drone ship went down due to the losing its lock on the uplink satellite. Elon Musk later reported that the first stage did touch down smoothly on the ship, but a lockout on one of the four landing legs failed to latch, so that the booster fell over and was destroyed. Debris from the fire, including several rocket engines attached to the Octaweb assembly, arrived back to shore on board the floating landing platform on January 18, 2016. Topic. See also. French space program Topex, Poseidon Jason-1 Ocean surface topography mission, Jason-2 List of Falcon 9 launches <laughs>